Britain is reportedly being urged by an Arab ruler to take the lead in the diplomatic drive against Syria after its key role in bombing out Libya's Colonel Gaddafi. International pressure continues to pile up on President Assad, who was given until Saturday to halt crackdowns on protesters or face more isolation. RT's Ivor Bennett joins us live from London with the latest. Hello, Ivor. So the unrest in Syria has echoes of the Libyan experience. What role could the UK play in the Syrian crisis? Well, Britain, now we now know, has been chosen as team captain by at least one Arab country to lead, lead a Libya-style contact group. And, and that's along with France as well. Now, their task will be to, to at the moment, uh, coordinate policy between Arab nations and the international contingent in the West. And uh, at the moment, there's no mention of military activity, but uh, they'll be launching a diplomatic offensive at the moment, they say, to end the violence in Syria, but that could indeed uh, end with them forcing President Assad to step down. Now, these details have emerged following talks between uh, David Cameron uh, and King Abdullah of Jordan, who is actually the first Arab leader to publicly call for President Assad to step down. Uh, and that was earlier this week. And now he's thought to actually prefer Britain and France rather than the U.S. to lead this international group uh, tasked with this diplomatic offensive uh, after their success in Libya. That's what they're, they're calling it. Now, now why, why now? Well, um, uh, the, 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 t the situation in, in Syria has deteriorated, certainly, over the last few days with the militarization of the opposition. Now, uh, at the moment, this offensive is purely verbal. There's no, no mention of military activity. Uh, but this is, of course, how the uh, Libya operation began. It was all just words to begin with. There are already similarities. France has withdrawn their ambassador from Damascus. As I say, there is all, uh, the militarization of the opposition now as well. And it wasn't long before in Libya, certainly, that those words turned to action. All right. I choose Ivor Bennett live for us in London. Thanks for that report.